Today I'm going to make porridge bread. I really want to eat porridge in the morning, but I just don't like the, the texture. So this is an alternative. What you need is a large tub of yogurt, some baking soda, porridge, and I also put in some seeds. So I have pumpkin seeds and um, sunflower seeds. Now, you can also put in dried fruit. You can put in whatever you like. Um, we had an intern in work from France who, when we were talking about the recipe, suggested we put in chocolate. So you could put in chocolate chips as well. First of all, you empty the yogurt into a bowl. Now you can use full fat, half fat, whatever kind of yogurt you want. So you get all the yogurt into a mixing bowl. Then the next step is some bread soda. Um, and you need about a teaspoon of bread soda. Now, the more bread soda you use, the more fluffy the uh, bread becomes. So you need like a good heaped teaspoon of the bread soda. And you have to leave that for a minute while the bread soda interacts with the yogurt. So mix it in, bread soda will interact. Leave that. While you're waiting for that, to start to fuzz up it'll kind of kind of gets a bit frothy the next thing you need is you keep your yogurt container and you fill it up with porridge oats so it's two tubs of the yogurt container with porridge oats okay um, you mix in two so the same yogurt container that you use to put into the bowl you fill it up twice so you've got two containers of porridge oats and they are mixed in with the the yogurt and the baking the baking soda or bread soda get all that in there you don't need to be too fussy about it. Just make sure you get them out. Okay, so then you mix it in. So you mix it into the yogurt mixture. It looks like it won't be enough, but it is enough. You can also put in some seeds at this point, mix it all together. So as I said before, I'm going to throw in some sunflower seeds and some pumpkin seeds as i said before you can include anything you want at this stage if you want to put in dried fruit if you want to put in chocolate um that's all up to you so you have to have mixed the both mixtures together really well so that the yogurt, the baking soda, bread soda, the porridge oats are all well mixed up together. Get some butter. Make sure that's well greased. Just put your mixture from here into the, the dish. And just press it down into your baking dish so that it's even across the way, smooth it out. You're going to have a preheated oven, preheated to about, I'd say about a hundred, I've got a fan assisted oven. So I tend to put things on a bit lower. So I'll probably preheat the oven to about 150. Um, this bakes, this takes quite a while to bake. So you're going to be baking it for in around 45 minutes to an hour. 
just cut a line down. It's not going to rise too much. This is a dense spread. It's kind of like a breakfast spread. Um, and it's instead of eating porridge. So now it's ready to go in the oven. Here you have the final product. As I said before, it's a dense spread. Best to use for breakfast or have it with soups or open sandwiches. It's not good for a sandwich. I'd like to thank jo Jane Golden and Ava Walsh who first provided me with this recipe. And you can make it in batches and it freezes really well. It takes about an hour to cook. So I would recommend either cooking a number of them together or you can also um, put the bread in to cook when you're cooking something else, like you're roasting some a chicken or a vegetable lasagna or something that takes a while in the oven, you can just pop the bread in with it. Okay, enjoy.